Hey guys, I'm back with my Value Village haul. And Bruno has his nose in the bag, don't you? Yeah. Um, oh, I wanted to point out that I have on my lips Pink Cashmere L'Oreal Color Riche 171. And I have on my Old Navy jacket again. I just love this. Okay, so. Um, might as well show you this. It's so big. I got this huge, huge Rolodex. Um, Rolodex. <laughs> and it was $1.99. The reason I got it, though, was... Look at all the cards in here. It's just full of cards and the tabs. So what I plan on doing is... This may be sacrilege, but I'm going to do it anyway. I am going to... Um, take all the cards and the dividers out and keep those and then I'm going to redonate the Rolodex thing. And when I was checking out, the woman who checked me out, she usually checks me out every week, she said, oh, I would use that for recipes. And I said, well, I don't do recipes anymore. I mean, if I want to look up something, I will go to the internet. I don't keep any cookbooks or recipe cards anymore. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I filled up another hero card. I took two big bags full and two boxes of books and then some miscellaneous stuff. So I filled up my second card and I used that yesterday for my 30% off. And I got two more stickers on my new card. Plus they're doing um, the punch card again. So, and this expires in May. And that's how many punches I got or stamps I got on my card. So I'm just saving like crazy. Okay, so with the 30% off, um, the $1.99, it took it to uh, $1.40. It took 59 cents off. And I got some more stamps. I know, I know, you don't have to tell me. The woman is crazy. So I got the Stampin' Up set. And um, it's one of those build a flower type sets. It's from 2006. And does it have a name on it? It is Serene. Oh, it's a sunflower set. Nice. Serene sunflower. I gave up filming in my dining room. The lighting just changes when I hold things up, and my dining room table is full of crap. So it's just the way it's going for now. The color green was 50% off, so I got this bag. I've been looking at this bag of stamps um, for a few weeks now, and it finally went on sale. So here's a really cute basket. This is Rubber Stampede, and it's 1995 Posh Presents. A spoon. From scrap, never heard of one before, but a spoon stamp. So I got that for two fifty, the set, and then this uh, Happy Two Thousand. What I'll probably do is I'll probably put this on eBay eventually. Um, I'm not going to now, but this would be really cool if you had a child or a grandchild born in the year 2000, or if you got married in 2000. Oh, I got married in 2000. Hmm. Just thought of that. And then this. It's a limited edition, 972 out of 1950. I have no idea what it is, though. I don't know. Is it like a Rorschach test? You guys tell me what you think this is. Clueless. Okay. So you guys tell me what you think that is in the comments below, please. Ow! The staple got me. Dang it. Let's see? Um, then this was, uh, this is another set that I had been looking at for a while, and because it was Okay, this time the camera turned off because the memory card was full. I was going to delete, um, it. anyway. All right, so back to this stamp. 
Tell me below what you think it is. Uh, and then, oh, I'm going to save that one to last. Here is one. This is another one of that scrap. And that is a jack. I do know what that is from the game jacks. I think that's what it is. I don't know. That scrap company has some weird stamps. And then this is just a loose, unmounted rubber stamp. It's of a woman, if you can make that out. Looks like maybe from the 20s or 30s. A flapper, perhaps. And then this one, <laughs> this was the bag of, or the stamp haul of what the hell is that? Really? <laughs> stamp it up, what is this? Is it a gun? Is it a glue gun? It ha looks like it has a pin gun. I have. Yet I bought them. Because <laughs> they were on sale. No, that's not why I bought them. Well, partially it is. And then I got this set. Um, another set of Stampin' Up! For 99 so 30% off of that. I'm not t oh, I, I did tell you the prices because those were half off. So, $4.99, I got $1.50 off, so this was $3.50. Another Stampin' Up! set, 2005, and just a lot of really nice greetings. It is called Serene Salutations, and in really good condition. Looks like this is the only one that was actually used the thanks so much. So I got that set. I should take another one out of the bag. And then, last but not least, I found a dress. Mike and I are going to um, Washington, D.C. I think, I think it's March 7th, I think, is when we fly there. I think that's a Friday. Um, and we have some events to go to that I need... Um, dresses for and I have a couple of them. One of them in Vegas, I don't know if it's going to fit me anymore, anymore. I wore it two years ago. But this is a Coldwater Creek and it's a petite which is hilarious. Um, but it's a really nice jersey knit dress that just kind of flares out on the bottom. It has a side zip. No, it has a back zip, I'm sorry. It has a back zip and the original price was $99.95. So Value Village had it for $50, and then with my 30% off, I got it for, should be $35. $35, yeah, I got it for $35. It fits beautifully. It's a little slightly big in the back, but that's okay. But you know, I got these girls that I need to cover, and it really it hits me perfectly here. It has wide straps so my bra straps won't show through and um, I have the snaps in case you wanna I think, is that for your bras? I don't know, I don't, I don't know what these little snaps are for oh, there's a little snappy do here and little thread so I guess you can put your bra strap through it? I don't know tell me cold water creek it is dry clean only and it is lined, so it's a beautiful dress. Very plain and simple. Here's the lining, and I can wear it with my um, with my one of my statement necklaces and a little cardigan, and I have some kitten heels, uh, some pointy toe kitten heels. I think that will look really nice and classy, and. Uh, I'm taking a dress that I wore to my nephew's wedding a few years ago. Again, it's another pretty one. It's a little big because um, I've gained weight back, unfortunately. Well, you know that. I'm doing the Ducan diet. Speaking of that, oh, so I had lost three and a half pounds. Then I was up a pound and a half, and I, why, I don't know. And then... Two days ago, 
I really broke my diet. I had a cupcake. I ate a chocolate cupcake, which was a huge mistake. And then when Mike and I went to watch the uh, UW Badgers men's basketball team lose to um, Maryland, I ordered a burger, no bun, and fries, and I ate the, most of the fries. So I was up a half a pound, so that wasn't so bad, but I'm still up half a pound. I'm still at the same. I haven't dropped anymore. But the problem with the cupcake is, um, I don't know if any of you guys know this or how many of you know this, I'm sure some do, but most of the crops, the um, grain crops here in America, right before they harvest the grain, they're sprayed with Monsanto's Roundup, which is glyphosate, which is associated with numerous neurological problems, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, um, autism, lots and lots of problems. It's a toxic chemical that's routinely sprayed on our food and our crops have been genetically modified. So therefore I gave up grains almost three years ago. Um, I had a colonoscopy. I think I was 55 when I had it done. Well, maybe, I don't know, later. But because I was having some issues, gut issues with um, cramping and diarrhea and stuff. And <clears throat> although I didn't have any polyps, he took some biopsies and I had some um, microscopic, um, I'm having a senior moment here, microscopic colitis. Okay. So you can only see it under the microscope, but I had inflammation. And so I gave up eating grains. Well, last June we went to Florida and Mike's cousin's son had gotten married. So we stopped and got some Italian cookies and I ate a donut and I ate some Italian cookies. And the next day my gut was so sore. And again, I was in the bathroom and then that happened to me yesterday because I had eaten that donut and my gut was just so sore and I was in the bathroom and so I've done that twice to myself in the past year and when will I learn that if I eat a, a portion of this contaminated grain, my gut will remind me not to do it. So um, there's a lot of information out there. I really suggest that if you're going to eat grains that you eat only organic um, because they are not genetically modified, I don't believe, you know, research it but they are not sprayed with this deadly toxic chemical that Monsanto keeps saying is safe. It isn't. Um, so that's my PSA today. I just want you guys to know that. That's why I gave up eating grains. Plus it's yeah, because of the carbs too. But, um, and if you want to give up grains, things that you can use, this is a whole nother video, are almond flour, coconut flour, um, and I actually ordered Dr. Ducan's organic oat bran because he recommends that you have some of that every day. And so I did get that. So that is not treated with this horrible glyphosate chemical. Dr. Mercola, he has a channel here on YouTube and he's done several videos and has done several articles and interviews with people about um, the glyphosate. So... Do your health some good and don't eat that. Really, it's bad stuff. So, okay guys, well thanks for watching. Sorry I got off on another tangent, but it, it's really important to me that people know that um, because Monsanto is pumping billions of dollars into the food industry claiming that their product is safe when it isn't. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna get off my soapbox now and go run my errands. All right, thanks guys, bye.